Yellowstone's super eruptions. Rock clock sheds new light on the size and frequency of Yellowstone's eruptions. And it's thought that it has erupted many more times than have that has been previously thought. This is by University News, University of Glasgow, Scotland article. The volcanic super eruption in America's Yellowstone National Park two million years ago was actually two smaller eruptions that were 6,000 years apart. This is what new research has revealed. So the big one that they thought was just one at 2.1 million years ago was actually two, 6,000 years apart. Scientists at the Scottish University Environment Research Center, SUERC, together with Washington State University and the US, have used a rock clock dating technique in order to more precisely determine when the volcanic rock samples from the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff were created. Yellowstone National Park is in Wyoming, as we know, and it's home to the largest volcanic system in North America. The researchers' findings paint a new picture of a volcano which is more active than previously thought and could have help to develop understanding of the chances of another super eruption in the future. Now, in the past, Huckleberry Ridge eruption was believed to be the fourth largest known to science. The new ages for each Huckleberry Ridge eruption reduce the volume of the first event to 2,200 cubic kilometers of magma, roughly 12% less than previously thought. But it still remains one of the largest known to have ever occurred on Earth and would have darkened the skies with ash from Southern California to the Mississippi River. And the second eruption of 290 cubic kilometers took place more than 6,000 years later. Scientists dated the Huckleberry Ridge samples at the NERC Argonne Isotope Facility in East Kilbridge using a technique known as Argonne-Argonne dating. University of Glasgow's Dr. Darren Mark led the research at SUERC and he says, Argonne-Argonne dating involves using a mass spectrometer to measure the ratio of radioactive potassium in a sample of rock to its decay product, argon. We know that the half-life of this radioactive decay is 1.25 billion years, and so we can determine the age of any given rock. The older a rock is, the more argon we'll find. Examining the radioactive decay essentially allows us to use rocks as incredibly slow clocks. At SUERC, we continue to find the techniques to allow us to make more accurate measurements Increasing the precision of our measurements gives us a sharper lens to examine events from the distant past and enrich our understanding of Earth's history, such as the cycle of Yellowstone's eruptions. University of Washington State Ben Ellis School of the Environment said, the Yellowstone volcano's previous behavior is the best guide of what it will do in the future. This research suggests explosive volcanism from Yellowstone is more frequent than previously thought. The study was funded by the Natural Environmental Research Council and National Science Foundation. The paper was titled Tempor Temporal Dis Dissection of Huckleberry Ridge Tuff Using Argon-Argon Dating Technique. It's published in the journal Quaternary Geochronology. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on 
your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.